started the, the day with 10 colors, we're down to nine. So many of these are exclusive, a couple of them brand spanking new. So we'll start at the top with the Cerise. That's your red. And remember, this is enameled. Uh, cookware. So this color is going to be lifelong lasting. This is cookware that you will have for a lifetime. The Cerise is the most limited. Then right next, uh, right in front is one of the new colors. This is what we're calling Oyster. So we know gray, a big decorator color. Many kitchens now in black, white, and gray. So that's a great option. And the other new color right next door, and that's going to be your Marine. So a take on a blue. And then heading down into the front, we have this for you in Cassis followed by your palm. Then we have this for you in Soleil. Then we have the Marseille. And then the original, which is flame. This is when I think of Le Creuset, the color that pops into my mind. And then lastly, in Caribbean. Now, if you were to purchase this identical four and a half quart uh, chef's oven with the trivet, you would spend $316 at LeCrusade.com. Our today's special value price is less than $200. And with Easy Pay, that works out to six easy payments of $33.33 a month. Now, if you have the QVC Q card, I do want to let you know. As a reward for our Q card shoppers, if you make the today's special value purchase using the Q card, you will get a $20 e-gift card to use towards a future purchase. And that's just for making the purchase today using your Q card. Um, if you don't have a Q card, you can apply for one. And if approved, you can make this purchase today. And for those new Q card holders opening an account, you'll also get a $25 statement credit. So I know that's a lot to take in. I'll remind you of that as we uh, head into it, but it's important that we know what we could do in cast iron cookware. So I want to introduce you to my guest, brand manager for Le Creuset. This is Nate Collier. Good morning. Gabrielle, good morning. It's great to be here. Well, this is a nice gift for the holidays. You know, it really is. And I love to give cast, uh, gift, uh, cast iron because for two reasons. One, it lasts a lifetime. You don't have to worry about it wearing out and people you know, having to go get another one and replace it. Mm -hmm. And two, it just really inspires confidence in the kitchen because it really is so amazing to cook with. And really for a couple reasons. First of all, our high quality cast iron retains heat like no other. And that, we're gonna show you why that makes a difference, but it really just means taste to your food. It okay. retains heat like no other material. And second, our proprietary enamel, both inside and out, that's multiple, multiple coats of super durable enamel. It allows for easy maintenance, easy cleanup, and of course, those beautiful, beautiful colors on there. And then don't forget the brand that you're buying. Le Creuset has been around for almost 100 years, doing this in the same factory in northern France. It's the authentic, original French enamel cast iron cookware. And look at this factory footage. You can see the enamel going into the individual sand molds. That's the black sand from the molds being broken apart. Every single one is broken. These are truly one of a kind. 16 different pairs of craftsmen touch each piece from polishing. Here's the first coat of enamel going on. Then that's the interior enamel going on. The first coat of the color going on, that's the lighter color. And then the second darker color for that beautiful ombre effect going on. Fired in unbelievable temperatures. So that's how you know this enamel is staying on because it is baked at temperatures you can't even believe. Mm -hmm. Inspected, stickered. I was there to watch the whole process, pack up a few boxes. I mean, it's so fun to be there. It's almost like my Disneyland to watch all this cast iron being produced and on its way to you. It's delivered in time for Christmas. It's so such a beautiful gift. And with all those 10 colors you went through, you're going to find one for somebody. Or excuse nine. me, nine. Oh, we already sold right, out. That's right, because we started the, with 10, and we've already sold out that's of one. absolutely and, right. Um, out of those nine remaining colors, eight of them are exclusive. Um, so these are special pieces. So let's talk about why this particular shape of a vessel. What is the chef's oven and why is it so popular? So the chef's oven, you notice, it's got a gentle sloping side, which is beautiful for stirring, for risottos, for dishes that you need to toss, but also for soups and stews, it creates kind of a gentle convection in there um, with rolling heat so things don't sit on the bottom. But you can see here with these short ribs, it's got a wide enough base on the bottom still to provide enough space to get that beautiful brown sear on the short ribs, which this is one of those things when I talked about the heat retention of cast iron, 
you're not gonna get this beautiful brown, delicious sear on your meats and vegetables if you've got a thin material that cools down when you put the meat in your pan. You're gonna get gray, steamed meat, and nobody likes that. Mm -hmm. This, for this short recipe, this is one of David Venable's recipes. Okay. There's two things you need to know. You wanna develop that beautiful, rich brown flavor, and that's from that sear right there. And then you also wanna cook it low and slow and trap all the moisture, which I'll talk about in a minute. So, so we do have that recipe book, by the way, and it does have several of the recipes that we're going to be cooking up this morning. Absolutely right. To help get you started. Ten recipes, and there I provided an amazing variation of recipes in there. Mm -hmm. so everything from baking to everyday sautéing to oven casseroles. So it really will allow you to experience cast iron cooking with everything you can do in it. So all that brown fawn that we developed mm -hmm. on the bottom of this, here's what's so beautiful about this sand-colored enamel. A little bit of red wine in there. And you can already see all that beautiful brown fawn is coming off the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. That's We're, the flavor. That's the flavor. You want to eat mm -hmm. that. You don't want to pour that down the drain. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about scrubbing that in the dishes the next day. So, well, when it comes to Lake Crusade, there's really not a lot of scrubbing even going on. A lot of that has not. to do with the enamel. Um, all right, so this is so we started with that sear, and now this is where the low and slow comes in. This is in. where the low and slow okay. comes in, which is two things. That cast iron holds gentle heat. And then if you can see here on this rim, this is a precision molded rim right here. And to get that in a perfect circle every time is incredibly hard, but we've mastered that process over 92 years. And that locks the moisture in place. And also this lid is going to heat from the top. So you're gonna get a beautiful, gentle convection inside and all those juices and moisture from the short ribs are gonna stay in your stew and create that tender meat to go along with that rich brown sauce that we created. Let me from help you out. Perfect, thank um, you so much. So now we're heading uh, to the oven. Oven, yes. Um, but I like that you include the trivet because when it's finished, we can go right to the table. Right to the table. Mm -hmm. And two things that I love about that. The trivet is a really high quality silicone. It's thick, it's gonna match the color of your pot. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna protect your table, but also the cast iron retains heat so well mm -hmm. that you can set this down in the middle of your table and you don't have to worry um, uh, about it cooling off. People can come back for seconds, for thirds, and it's gonna retain that heat, which is great this time of year for the holidays mm -hmm. because you're always entertaining and serving. And so what we're gonna serve this with Beautiful, beautiful polenta, which oh, is really okay. typical with short ribs. You could do this over mashed potatoes, over a risotto would be great in here. But I love cooking grains like this. Mm -hmm. Polenta is basically just a, a cornmeal. Mm -hmm. um, because again, that cast iron holds a gentle heat, so it cooks the polenta perfectly, but it doesn't scorch on the bottom because you don't have to keep that heat high enough to cook it because the cast iron will retain enough heat itself, which is so important. And then, all right. Here's this is the this big reveal. Is the big reveal. So these were the braised short ribs right. that we saw you sear, but after cooking low and slow in the oven, That's right. it's fa literally off falling the off the bone. This is just a spoon. You can see how it shreds so beautifully. You really could eat this with a spoon without a knife and fork, and you can see how delicious. This is the bone right here. Is. The meat just fell off. Fell the bone. right off. I mean, look at that. Mm. I, and if you smell this, I love this recipe that David created yeah, too. Very because fragrant. It's got some fig, some rosemary and cinnamon, which for me just spells holidays. So I love that we're doing this this time of year. And again, you can fit, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six giant short ribs in here. So mm -hmm. the four and a half quart capacity could feed a whole family, but it's not such a large vessel that you're gonna have a hard time moving it around the stove. So, you know, think about an easy meal, um, almost a one pot meal that's right um, that can feed the masses I want to show you the colors really quickly because uh, we already sold out of one of the t uh, 10 colors that we started the day with the cerise at the top very popular um, that's actually what I have at my house Nate um, and then we have two new colors the new colors are gonna be oyster and marine, exclusive in this vessel here at QVC. We also have the popular Cerise. This is one that's return. Uh, I'm sorry, Cassis, that's returning, followed by the Palm Green, Soleil Yellow. Then we have it for you in the Marseille, followed by Flame, and then our last color, which is going to be your Caribbean Blue. Six easy payments of $33.33. .33. Head to LakeCrusade.com. This Similar vessel, 
A four and a half quart cast iron chef's oven with the silicone trivet is retailing for $316 on their website right now. Our today's special value price is under $200. For any lidded Le Creuset vessel, that is a huge value. And with our best easy payment plan and free shipping and handling, it just makes it easy to give the gift of really high quality cookware. So what makes it so high quality? A couple things. This enameling process, and this really is what sets us apart, it's proprietary. You can see that base coat going on. That's coat number one on all sides to protect your cast iron. It's not raw. You don't have to season it or worry about washing it. Sand enamel goes on the interior for the easy release. The beautiful base coat, and then the darker color on top of that for that ombre effect. And all of those coats are fired in between in that incredibly hot oven. So every time you're getting that durable, durable mm -hmm. coating. And that's why we have a lifetime warranty on this cookware because yeah. we stand by it. We know it's going to last a lifetime. It really is almost like heirloom Absolutely. cookware. People pass down their Le Creuset. Um, so it goes to the next generation I, and the next generation. I actually got my first piece of Le Creuset from my father. Okay. I still remember I was probably 12 or 13 years old. I love to cook. Mm -hmm. He was making risotto in a cream colored Le Creuset Dutch oven, which by the way, I've now given to the third owner and they're okay. still using it. Um, he'll still say his risotto is better than mine, but we'll contend <laughs> for that. Uh, now we might have a competition now, dad, that I uh, know a little bit uh, more tricks up my sleeve. But again, like we passed it down and passed it down. And he got so much joy out of giving that to me when I was first learning to cook. And I, I think you guys will get the same joy if you're giving this as a gift as well. Um, and I will tell you with the um ease of cleaning, of maintaining. My mom cooked and my grandmother cooked with cast iron, but it was the black cast iron right. that you had to season. It was kind of high maintenance. It, you had to clean it right away. Like it was really It is high, high maintenance. maintenance. And like, and, and I have some unseasoned cast iron. There is a place for it, but you do have to season it. You have to watch out for rusting. You mm -hmm. have to take a little bit more care for yes. it. And uh, this- It gave great results it, cooking. It does. That's why we love cast iron. And this mm -hmm. provides the same heating properties of that raw cast iron, but without the yeah. seasoning, without the maintenance, and of course, those beautiful, beautiful colors to boot. All right, so what are we cooking up next, Nate? So what we're gonna show here, just for a little bit of breakfast since it's morning time here, this is one of the recipes in our 10 recipe booklet. Okay. This is a French toast and sausage bread pudding. Oh, sweet and, and savory. That's right, and that's one of my favorite things, sweet and salty, <laughs> I just love. Mm -hmm. You can see how easily that's pulling away from the side right here. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. It looks clean. It, it, I mean, <laughs> it really does. And this recipe I love because my daughters love to cook breakfast. This is an easy one. You can make it the night before. Let that custard really soak into the bread, <laughs> leave it in the fridge, and put it cold into the oven while the oven is preheating. And that way it'll come to temp as it cooks. And uh, these types of bread puddings and stuffings are great in cast iron. You don't need a water bath. It'll hold a gentle heat without kind of scrambling that egg. It'll mm, keep a mm. gentle custard in there. And that's another property of cast iron that I just really love. It can hold gentle, it can hold high, it can just hold an amazing temperature, whatever you want it to do. Well, we're getting some questions, Nate. Um, one of the big ones, what can I cook on with this cast iron? Am I limited to what kind of stove tops you or where I cook? You can cook on any cooktop out there. So okay. this is safe for gas, it's safe mm -hmm. for electric, it's safe for ceramic and glass top. If you've got a radiant ring stove, it's safe for induction. Hello. All, all of our cast iron <laughs> is magnetic. It works on any induction burner, which are becoming more and more popular, by the way. It's oven safe, broiler safe, dishwasher safe. You really can put this on any cooktop. It's safe for anything. And Nate, because of the upgraded um, knob, now this can withstand higher heats in the oven as far as the lid, right? That's right, absolutely right. This stainless steel um, can go to any temperature in the oven. So it's 500 degrees in the oven mm -hmm. um, for as long as you want, mm -hmm. nothing will happen to it. It'll be a little bit hot when you pull it out, of course, but that's why we love cast iron because it retains that heat. And we'll show you um, a bread that we baked and this stainless steel knob comes in handy with that because it, it goes in at a really high temperature. And that, by the way, is kind of an upgrade. So that's not what you always typically Correct. find on um, the lid. So that is something special as part of our today's special value. And it's beautiful, right? Doesn't it look great no, on the colors? No, it does. It's a little bit of sl uh, bling with exactly it as well. Exactly right. All right, so what's next? So here's something else that I love to do in cast iron, and that okay. is frying. And again, right. it comes back to the heat retention mm -hmm. of um, cast iron. The one thing that you don't want when you're frying is either A, soggy food, which is if your oil's not hot enough, mm -hmm. it's gonna absorb a lot of that oil because what you want is see those bubbles coming out right now? That's steam escaping and that means that oil is not getting inside. We're frying some hush puppies. This is one of the recipes from the booklet. The other thing you wanna watch out for is your uh, oil being too hot. 
because okay. then you burn the outside and it's not cooked Cook. on the mm -hmm. inside. And cast iron is great because the temperature is not going to drop when you put your food in. So you're going to get that crispy, delicious exterior and cooked all the way through. And the other thing that's great is you don't have to wait in between batches because it doesn't drop temperature. You don't have to wait to heat it up again. It'll retain that perfect frying temperature as you go. I'm so uh, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I've had that experience where the first batch came out beautifully. Right. And then everything else after that, it was just not as good as that first one. And like you said, it's because the vessel wasn't maintaining the temperature. And, you know,